Good morning all, CamelbackTrading.org. Coming to you this Wednesday morning, September 28th. We are looking at Window Trader's market profile of the ES and SPY. We've had some pretty nice price action, volume, all pre-market. Um, sellers again tried pre-market to get below this five-month balance. So far rejected. Again, it is only pre-market, so we'll have to see what transpires. But uh, right now, volume in SPY, 1.9 million with 75, 80 minutes to go prior to the open. So we're cranking some volume here. It's a heck of a battle going on. Pre-market high right now is 364.40 in SPY. 358.71 is the pre-market low, which not coincidentally is right below that gap fill from November of 2020. ES, the high is 74.75 and the low is 13. Now, unfortunately, we have Bullet and Powell again this morning around 10 o'clock Eastern Time. These guys think they're on a talk show circuit, uh, just spewing verbal diarrhea continually. It's just horrible. But unfortunately, we have to deal with it as day traders. So please keep that in mind. Once they're done, hopefully this market will get some sort of directional move. We are in a firm, firm three-day balance. So if we take it out to the downside, again, new lows are in store. And again, is not much below us if they decide to get going. On the flip side, if we come out of this three-day balance to the upside, we'll still have to attack that gap that's still above us, that's still fairly large. As far as the other ones go, triple Qs, again, same thing. They made new lows in the overnight. Um, now remember, yes, the, the triple Qs and NQ did not come out of their balance to the downside yet. So just keep that in mind. Um, they are trading right now around yesterday's low. Russell, <clears throat> again, Russell also isn't even in balance on the daily. They're still down. They barely took out yesterday's low in the pre-market and now are firmly in the middle of the day. Remember, we all had double distribution days yesterday. They don't get taken back uh, in the overnight. So as of now, we treat yesterday as two separate trading days. From K's high to the day's low is the lower distribution. And then from D's low to the day's high is the upper distribution for ES and SPY. So please keep that in mind. I'm in four tick increments, but we do have a wide overnight pock here um, down around uh, K and J's low. Now, as far as the game plan, for now, the way this thing is moving, if it pushes up, you can certainly take a short against K's high and the overnight high. Very, very visual level. See if they get rejected. Even if they fill the single prints, see if they get rejected out of the upper distribution. So that's one short play if they're to push up. On the flip side, if they're to push down, again, can you take a long against yesterday's low in this wide overnight pock? I guess you can, but any acceptance below yesterday's low, well, then value is going to go from unchanged to overlapping the lower. And I think it's a little bit too much heat to take down to the overnight. That's for sure. So if you take that long, I'd be out below yesterday's regular uh, trade now is low and then see if they're going to go get the overnight low. Again, these are all early plays. Uh, and then on the chart, <clears throat> so the monthly, again, we slightly stretched a five-month balance to the downside. They're still attempting to keep pushing. I think the pairs need some fresh blood to get going here. We did good, did very nice volume yesterday, over 100 million. Um, so that's nice. Good range, good volume. That's all we could ask for. But again, we've done two things on the balance rule so far. We got close to a balance and then got rejected. And yesterday we slightly extended it and got rejected. Will the third time be the charm if we take to, uh, yesterday's low out? It all remains to be seen. The weekly is firmly down. It's going to be down. Nothing's going to change until we take out a weekly high. And then the daily, here is our balance. Now, again, we did $108 million yesterday. So here it is. So sellers have an opportunity if they take out yesterday's low and get some decent distance away from it to have all three time frames down. On the flip side, if the bulls are able to hold this level again and take out yesterday's high, well then at least they could possibly come out of balance and turn the daily up. 
the monthly would still be in balance. And the only thing down would be the weekly. So there's a lot at stake here for both sides. Don't forget, you have Powell and Bullard around 10 a.m. this morning. And then we also have the end of the quarter on Friday. Thanks for the likes and subscribing. Good luck trading today. Come check us out at camelbacktrading.org. Proud to announce we had four people sign up again last night. The community continues to grow. Good luck trading, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.